Hey everyone, Dr. Ryan Ball from Prosper Health Clinics, continuing testosterone. So, the next thing I want to check if you have low testosterone is where is your estradiol? That's your estrogen too. So it's a type of estrogen, there's three types of estrogen. The second one is called estradiol. And what can happen is if you have a blood sugar problem, if you have a reactive hypoglycemia problem, or if you have uh, insulin resistance or diabetes or something like that, there's a good chance, and especially if a person that's overweight, there's a good chance that they are producing and activating a hormone called aromatase, and then that changes your testosterone into estrogen, into estradiol. So that's a bad thing. If you're low testosterone, the last thing you want is more estrogen. Um, and so one thing that we need to look for is we can't just give you testosterone replacement forever. We want to be able to fix these blood, blood sugar and obesity issues that are causing aromatase activation and then causing all your testosterone to turn into estrogen. So we don't want your testosterone getting bound up by sex hormone globulin. We don't want it getting turned into estradiol. And we don't want it getting turned into cortisol. Um, and we want it to be upregulated by the pituitary gland. We need to look at all of these things, including more than I'm going to show you, and when we do that, we find that most people, unless you're in your 70s or 80s or 90s, you don't actually need testosterone replacement. Uh, go ahead and if you have any questions, put that, them in the comment section. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot off this one. And go ahead and like, share, and comment uh, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.